what's poppin' y'all, welcome back to another YouTube video, and today we're taking a look at another game review. This is a very important and a very special game to me. This is Apex Legends, and Apex Legends is a free-to-play battle royale hero shooter game developed by Respawn Entertainment and published by Electronic Arts. It was released for PlayStation 4, Windows, and Xbox One in February 2019, in, for Nintendo in March 2021, and PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X slash S in March 2022. They did bring it to uh, mobile and Switch, and it did come out as a Fortnite uh, competitor. And it did come out when Fortnite was in Season 5, and they did give away the Season 6 Battle Pass for free because of this, um, and how popular it was at the time of its release. It is still doing well now, and Apex Legends uh, is sort of a mix of Overwatch and Fortnite, or that's how I'm going to put it. Because there is 100 people in a match, and you get to choose between this very limited roster of characters when it first came out. And I did I did take my hand in playing this game when it first came out, and I didn't really enjoy any of the characters other than Pathfinder, because it had a very limited selection, and I didn't enjoy any of them other than Pathfinder. Uh, so then I gave up on it, um, and then I came back to it a few years later in lockdown, actually, and I played it with my friend Connor for a while, and that is how I unlocked um, Octane, he unlocked Mirage, and we'd play it on nights together, and it is a really cool and fun game. We would play that 3v3 with him, uh, because um, that was quite fun and entertaining uh, for a little while, but then I stopped playing it with him because we went on to different games, and we stopped being able to schedule time to play together, because we got busy, and we got back at school, and uh, six form and stuff like that. So ev life just got in the way between us to play it. And then I was messaged one day on Instagram by Lolita, uh, who wanted to play a couple of rounds of Apex with me because she saw my TikToks and thought I was pretty cool. So then me and Lolita started playing Lo uh, Apex for a while. And yeah, that's basically how we bonded. Um, so this is why this game means a lot to me. Um, but actually, let's get into the gameplay and the graphics here. I like the comics that come out with every season. Gradually, over the weeks uh, of the season, you will get comic panels, comic pages of explaining the story of the season, how this new character is introduced, this new character's backstory, and how the Apex characters are finding the new map. There is five maps which do swap out between uh, every hour, which I do quite like and I do quite enjoy the fact that they swap out every hour. Uh, just adds more variety and always adds like a set time to play for you to get the map you want and I like that there's consistency with it like every time at nine o'clock it would be Olympus or every time at ten o'clock it would be the jungle one and I thought that was really cool that it had a various different maps with various different lore implications and they were on like an hourly rotor so you wasn't stuck playing one map for too long and it still felt fresh and new and creative and with every season, they did add new characters, whereas in Season 1, you got Mirage, Season 2, it was Octane, and then so on and so on, until a couple of seasons ago, where they didn't introduce a new character, and they just reworked all the characters. And then we got two new ones, and now there is a season where they have reworked Revenant, making him super OP, and that is the season we're on now. But the roster of characters has increased, and you can earn, like, enough every 21 levels to unlock a character. And me and Connor grinded so I could get Octane, he could get Mirage. And it was just such a grind to get these characters. I now have Valkyrie and Watson as well in my collection after playing for so long. And I am working towards getting... Uh, the other one. I do want to get Mirage. He's my next one that I would like to get. They have collaborated with animes as well, so they have done the hip, hip, cool, down with the kids collaborations with anime, with Mirage's Deku skin, uh, Octane's Luffy skin, and stuff like that. I don't think they're official collaborations, I just think they took inspiration, because the creators of this game do like anime, as you can see, plus Ultra on Octane's arm. Um, Wraith does some Naruto hand signs, and Revenant also does some anime reference, which I don't really remember. 
But here are the core members of the team. This is how the game first started. Very limited selection of heroes. And that's all cool, fine and dandy. And each character has its own gameplay style and gameplay mechanic. You have the healers, the tacticals, the scouts, the tanks. Like in Overwatch, you have the sections with heroes inside. And uh, Connor loved Mirage and Revenant. Lalita likes, um, what's, Bloodhound and Lifeline, and I like Octane, and Pathfinder, and Wraith. However, Octane is my go-to favourite, and the one I am every time. If you do watch my Apex videos, you will have seen me play, me and Connor play, me and Lalita play, just if you've been watching my channel for a while now. Um, so this video has been a long time coming. I also like the cinematics they do. Uh, at the start of every season as well. I think they're quite cool. And the gameplay is never the same. With each new character that gets introduced, they have new abilities, which change the game in huge ways. Octane added a lot of speed, and him partnered with a Spitfire, which is my weapon of choice, is an absolute devastating machine, because you have run and spray. You have spray and prey, and the speed behind it. With Wraith, you can teleport, and that adds a lot to the game as well. Lifeline, you can heal and throw out healing drones. So then you can revive people as well as still fighting people, which isn't something uh, very common in games. So it's very useful to have a lifeline on your team. And if you do have a healer on your team, you can recraft people's banners once they die and if you don't manage to collect their banner in time, which I think is a really good choice and a really good sort of player base to have because then it m gives an incentive for a team to have a healer and you're only allowed one you're only allowed one octane or one lifeline on a team however there is a hundred players so you could have like 50 different lifelines in that game which i find a little confusing and a little upsetting but it doesn't have solos Apex Legends doesn't have solos because it is a team game and you use people's abilities to bounce off each other. That is why they don't have solos. You need to have like an Octane with a lifeline so then their abilities can bounce off each other. The speed and the heals, it, it can't be done in solos and that's why there isn't a solos. There is a trios, there is a squad and there is a duo. They also have ranked, like every other competitive game has now, and they also have a 3v3 option and a 3v3 ranked, which I quite like. I am a big fan of the 3v3 games in Overwatch and here in Apex. Some of the characters are quite boring and not very interesting, and obviously with new characters having their own abilities, there is obviously going to be some glitches, some bugs, some breaks, and some game-breaking sort of activities that you can do. But the gameplay is pretty simple. You jump from the carrier ship, you land, you get guns, you shoot people, and if you're the last team standing, you win. It's a basic battle royale game. Zone also closes, I forgot about that. Uh, but it's a pretty basic game like idea for a battle royale. But Apex takes it a step further by adding selectable characters. I haven't seen another battle royale game that does that. The other battle royale games that I've played, like Rumbleverse... Fortnite, Super Animal Jam, um, the, there's a couple of Darwin's Project. You just design your own character. Like, you buy a skin, boom, that's it. No actual competitive advantage in it. But with Apex, you can buy new characters, and some of them can give you a competitive advantage. Like, some heroes or legends work better with others. And some heroes and legends don't work well together. So it's building that team, building the people you communicate best with, and absolutely proving your worth in the battlefield. And I really like that. I like the fact that you still have your skins for each character, uh, like the Luffy skin or the fish skin for Octane that I'm currently using right now, which don't add any competitive value, but you do also have the characters that are there, which add special abilities and some time to get used to. You do get like a starting eight characters out of the 13, 14 that are in the game right now. That is a pure guess off the top of my head. Don't quote me on that fact. But 
you do get a select few and you do have to buy the rest. And every time a new one comes out, you can either get them in the battle pass or you can buy them on their own, which you do have to do by leveling up. Apex is a game that I have seen and they always try and keep it fresh with consistent updates, new weaponry, new heroes, new powers, reworking heroes, and constant map changes. They are constantly trying to keep it changing, ever changing, ever different, keeping you on your toes so it doesn't get boring and it doesn't get stale. They even have cars in here. They have new weapons. They have craftable weapons. They have craftable ammo. There's just all this stuff that you can do in a game. It's so much faster than any other Battle Royale game. You're out there clipping quick, quick fire matches. You go into a fight, boom, next one. More people that way, more people that way, because the maps are a lot smaller than they are in, like, Fortnite or any other, like, Battle Royale game. So it's a much faster-paced game. There is constant fighting. You do get a little bit of time to rest and to loot up, but other times it, it, it's, it's so much faster and you feel more, like, in the game, you're more invested and you're more sort of captured by the game uh, than in Fortnite where, you know, you're running around for half the game and you'll see no one. You do get the occasional game like that in Apex, but it's less common as it is in Fortnite. And I, I like the fast-paced, like, segment of it, but also uh, Revenant's new rework. I do want to talk about that. That is overpowered as fuck. And um, I've heard a lot of complaints about it. So I do think he's going to get a nerf pretty soon. But moving on, we also have a very good graphics. I like the graphics in this game. It tries to be realistic, but it also is its own sort of world. Like, you know, it's got its own law, its own story which I do enjoy. I like the story and the lore behind most Battle Royale games because it does make them more interesting as you're playing them, and you can find little details hidden around the maps. But it is an excellent game. I do recommend you go get it. It is free. It costs nothing to play, and you will have to wait a while for the install time. That is something with new games that they do. That is always a big downer. When it's a big game, it takes ages to install, especially with crappy Wi-Fi. But... It is a good game. Graphics, really good. The voice line and the quips that they do, I think I can do a really good Octane voice. Oh, I have to go faster than that to catch me. Hey, this guy must go faster. non terre plus ultra. So that's my Octane impression. I think I do a good one. And um, just voice acting is excellent. Each character has their different voice and it's very noticeable who it is. Like, oh, you hear Octane, you know that's Octane. You hear Pathfinder, oh, that's Pathfinder, yep. You know, you hear a voice line, you know who it is straight away. They're very iconic voices, and they're very iconic characters. Um, some of them are a bit less known than others, some of them are quite boring. But the characters, they're good. They're, like, very unique, creative, they have backstory to them, they're well thought out. The gameplay, it tries its best to not be as repetitive, and it is very interesting, no match is the same. Then we also have, like, the voice lines and the acting and the graphics. All that is excellent as well. Looks good, plays good. Controls are really easy to use. You don't run around struggling with pushing buttons. You know what the buttons are, and you can change them to how you want. I have them set to how I play Fortnite, so it's the same sort of button layout, so I'm not struggling and I don't have the sort of mind fuddle, the mind muddle, where I go from Apex to Fortnite and I fuck up with the controls, because I have it set the same. So the controls are easy to use. I don't remember what the originals are, but what I've said it as, they're easy to use. It's common, it's basic, it's usable. So I am going to give Apex... A good 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 game. Because it does still have its flaws with its overpowerful characters and its bugs when new updates come out. And that is why I'm knocking it down by one point. But it is a special game to me, so maybe that's why I'm boosting it up a lot higher. But other than that, hope you enjoyed and goodbye. Bye.